Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day and how far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 46 Isaac travelled with all that he had, and came to Beersheba, and offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. God spoke to Israel in the vision of the night, and said, Israel, who was Jacob, said, Here I am. He said, I am Yahweh, the God of your father. Don't be afraid to go down into Egypt, for there I will make of you a great nation. I will go down with you into Egypt. I will also surely bring you up again. Joseph will close your eyes. Israel rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried their father, their little ones, and their wives, the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They took their livestock and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt. Israel and all of his offspring with him, his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters. And he brought all his offspring with him into Egypt. These are the names of the children of Israel. And came into Egypt, Israel and his sons, Reuben, Israel's firstborn, the sons of Reuben, Anak, Palo, Hezron, and Kami, the sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jemen, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shaul, the son of Canaanite woman, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Meriari, the sons of Judah, Ur, Oan, Shila, Perez, and Zerah. But Ur and Oan died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamul, the sons of Issachar, Tula, Huva, Eob, and Shimron, the sons of Zebulun, Sirad, Elon and Jahli. These are the sons of Leah, whom she born to Jacob in Padan Aram, with his daughter Dina. All the souls of his sons and his daughter were thirty three. The sons of Gad, Zephion, Agai, Shunai, Esbon, Eri, Herodai, and Arali. The sons of Hashar, Imna, Isra, Isri, Beria, and Sarah, the sister, the sons of Beria, Eber, and Malachel, these are the sons of Sopa, whom Laban gave to Leah, his daughter, and these she brought to Israel, even sixteen souls, the sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin, to Joseph in the land of Egypt, were born Manasseh, Nephrim, Meshineph, the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, born to him. Sons of Benjamin, Bella, Besher, Isbel, 
Gower, Naman, E, Rosh, Mupin, Mupin, Nard. These are the sons of Rachel, who were born to Israel. Other cells were 14. The son of Dan, Hashem. The sons of Napatali, Jazel, Uni, Zazer, and Shilem. These are the sons of Belha. From Leban came to Rachel, his daughter, and these she brought to Israel. All the souls were seven. All the souls who came with Israel into Egypt, who is the direct husband, beside Israel's sons' wives, all the souls were sixty-six. The sons of Joseph were born to him in Egypt, the two souls. All the souls of the house of Israel who came into Egypt were seventy. He sent Judah before him to Joseph, to show the way before him to Goshen, and they came into the land of Goshen. Joseph prepared this chariot, went up to meet Israel, his father in Goshen. He presented himself to him, and fell on his neck, and wept on his neck for a good while. Israel said to Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen your face, that you are still alive. Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's house, I will go up and speak with Pharaoh, and will tell him, My brothers and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, have come to me. These men are shepherds, for they have been keepers of livestock, and they have bought their flocks and their herds, and all that they have. It will happen when Pharaoh summons you, and will say, What is your occupation? That you shall say, Your servants have been keepers of livestock from our youth, even until now, both we and our fathers, that you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians.